Hi everyone, welcome back to a glorious day, sun's shining uh, at last, finally got some decent weather and it's time to carry on with the honey sampling that we take part of here in the UK. Uh, it's organised, run by the uh, UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology and it's called the National Honey Monitoring Scheme. I'll pop a link in the description uh, beneath the video so that you can go take a look at it and maybe request a sample pack yourself. So I just wanted to show you the way to take the sample, what we do, and then I guess it'll be maybe next year that we'll get the results. We've just recently had the results from last year's sampling, which is quite interesting. It's, it's always nice to see what types of plants the bees have been foraging on. And I guess that really is what the beekeepers are most interested in. Uh, we have um, three sample tubes uh, and we need to fill these up to the top for testing. And the reason there's three is that one of them is for plant DNA barcoding. So that's where they'll identify uh, the bees. The other is for inclusion in the National Archive. And then the third is to check for pesticide residue. So that's why we have the three tubes. It's a very straightforward, simple process. You get a little letter with instructions and, and really details about what it's all about and, and why you're taking part. And uh, so you get the three tubes, a little self-sealed plastic bag for the tubes because obviously we're gonna get a bit of honey all over the place. And also, um, a postage paid envelope to go back to the honey monitoring scheme. So uh, you can take samples twice a year, spring and then in the summer, but it has to come from the frames direct and it needs to be capped. So it, I know it seems like we haven't got much honey this year and we're going to be giving a lot away, but it, it does need to come from the sealed comb. So let's just Give these girls some smoke. Said it again, Katie, sorry. My precious little girls, as Katie would call them. And we're just gonna take out one frame with some sealed honey somewhere in the middle. In fact, let's take this end frame out first to give us a bit of room. As you can see, they're working on it. This would not be the right kind of frame to use for sampling because all you're going to get is nectar. Uh, there's no honey in that frame. So now we can just come through into the middle, find a frame. Now, again, they haven't capped it all, so it has to come from the sealed comb. So we'll shake the bees off as best we can. So here we are, we've got some nice capped honey at the top and then we've got the nectar beneath it. So we're going to take the sample from the top section. So the easiest thing to do is to just lay this down. If you can balance it, there we go, get, get it balanced nicely. And the easiest way I find, a little beetle, but the easiest way I find is just to scoop through and fill it up. So we'll start at this edge. And then run it down. You just have to make sure that you don't plug the end with the wax. And then if we just scrape Scrape the top off. If you've got an uncapping fork, a clean uncapping fork, then that would be a, a good way of collecting. So we're almost full. And this is for sampling, it's not for 
uh, their early morning toast. So there's one nice full container. Get the lid on. Get the lid on properly. There we are. So, one sample. Let's just take the cappings off a little bit further along and the bees are going to clean that up for us so that's not too big an issue and then we can get some more honey running into the tube and if you just scrape it across using a clean hive tool of course make sure that you've Got a clean hive tool. Take your time, no need to rush at it. As with most things in beekeeping, get more pleasure from it if you take your time. Don't shortchange them. Make sure you, you get plenty of honey right to the top. Almost there. And then the screw cap can go tightly on that one. And then the last one. See if we can cut through. And then get some honey over this side and run it down into the little tube along this edge. Smells gorgeous. If only we could share that with you. And I've actually just scraped this back to the mid rib just to give you an idea as to how far you have to scrape the cells back. One last little bit. There we go, that's our sample taken. So we've got our three samples. I can sit there, we'll give them a, a wipe over. And this can just go back into the hive now. The bees will repair and renew. They'll take away that wax and reuse that. So that's all good. It will drip down, but the bees will soon get onto that. We'll just wipe a hive tool off, clean that. And that is our sample taken. So we'll give those a, a rinse with some clean water just to get the bulk of that honey off the cap. Just wipe, wipe it over, not dunk it in a sink or anything. That then goes into the little clear bag, into the jiffy bag, which then gets sent away. They'll gather up all of that information and once it's been tested, you'll get a notification to tell you that your results are ready. And then you can excitedly have a look to see exactly what you've got your bees foraging on. Here, I suspect there'll be maybe some cow parsley. We've got oilseed rape. We've had blackthorn. It'll be really interesting to see what else is in the sample. So uh, do have a go yourself. And if you're new to the channel, 
then do take a look at our Patreon page where you can sign up for lots more content and join us through our beekeeping season. Well, that's it for now. We're going to send off this sample and we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.